uh, all the students. Uh, today I am going to uh, discuss about the rating, the rating uh, production or any performance of any workers. Basically, the rating, what is rating means? The measurement of the performance with respect to the standard. So the standard rating is arrived by breaking the, the whole work into the elements and using the PMPS method and PM method and uh, so the thermic symbols and all we are supposed to calibrate the accurate time. So breaking the elements into accurate, uh, ele uh, taking the time of each and every element and addition of all those elements to make a work content. So then, so whatever the work that has to be completed within a particular time. So the time is decided by the analyst. So they take the trial uh, of many workers and finally they arrive at a particular figure. So that is the standard rating. So that is the standard pace. That means any work they are supposed to finish within that particular time. So that we rate as a 100%. If any worker compared to that pace if working, so that we call it as a 100%. So if any worker is performing lower than that 100, so we rate it as uh, below 100. And if any worker is uh, working faster than that standard pace, then we rate him as uh, above uh, standard pace. So this rating uh, helps us uh, giving the incentives and uh, forecasting the uh, production orders, all those things we can relate. So basically, as an industrial engineer, they are supposed to uh, learn the experience of uh, rating any activity. So the, it starts with uh, taking the observing the standard pace. Standard pace that in the laboratory we are going to demonstrate with the experiments. So how the standard rate is? Standard rate is basically you just have it in a mind that is it is arrived by many trials and error, trial and error method, it is arrived at a particular speed. So that speed we will show you, compared to that speed, you are supposed to rate. So he is going to change the speed of the activities. So keeping in view the standard pace, while he does the experiment, I will explain how to take the readings about that, okay. So now I request uh, Suresh to start with the first experiment, the playing with the cards. Now he is having uh, 52 cards and uh, to distribute equally that is uh, he takes 50 centimeters that you know how to take the time with the stopwatch. He takes the standard at 50 centimeters to distribute all the cards. So that the speed you are supposed to observe it and that is the standard pace. So later other trials by comparing with that standard pace you are supposed to rate it. For example, if he is distributing the cards with that particular standard, if uh, he is distributing the card uh, faster, you are supposed to rate as 110, 120, 130 or something like that. And uh, if the speed of the distribution of the card is lesser than the standard pace, you are supposed to rate them as 90, 80 or 70, something like that. So we are going to take a time and we will calculate the actual rate. So then you are supposed to calculate the uh, error, then the percentage error. So to arrive at a best rating engineer, the percentage error should not cross 5 percentage. So to that accurate, uh, you are supposed to rate it. So now he is going to show you the standard uh, speed, that is the 100% rating and he is going to take exactly cent uh, 50 centimeters for it. So only your job is to just to record the uh, speed in your mind. Yeah, he has taken exactly the 50 centimeters to distribute the cards. Okay, so now uh, this speed you are supposed to register in your mind.
the speed you are supposed to register in the moment and in the next trials he will going to change the speed he is uh, particularly is going to change the speed you are supposed to evaluate okay so now the trial this trial you are supposed to break it so now we'll start So you are not supposed to, you can rate in between, whenever he is distributing, the, he will maintain the speed constant throughout, so you are any, anywhere in the mid you can rate it, not exactly at the end. So now the time taken uh, is uh, 42 centimeters. So your rating should be more than 100, okay. So you, uh, what, what, whatever rating you have taken. Uh, 115, he has rated as 150 because with the standard speed uh, he was distributing a little bit faster. So he has rated it as uh, 150. Okay, now we calculate the error on those things. Actual rating. Okay, now the first trial you have waited and uh, so we will start with the next trial. Uh, can you? 75. Because with respect to the standard pace, he is distributing, uh, distributing the cards very slower. So that's why he is rated as 75% uh, The two trials. Now I am showing the calculation part. The first trial with respect to the standard pace, he has rated as 115, and the second trial he has rated as 75. So now we calculate the actual rating. So actual time taken for the first trial was the 42 centi minutes. For second trial, it was 58 centi minutes. Okay. So now we will calculate the actual rating. Actual rating the standard time I said in the beginning that was the fifty centi minutes. 50 into 100 divided by the actual time taken. Divided by 42. So it's a 119. Actual uh, rating you can enter as 119. He rated as 115 and the actual rating was 119. And the difference is the uh, observed and actual. So the difference is 4. So for that the percentage error you can calculate. So error divided by Error divided by actual rating, that the error was 4 and the actual was 119 into 100. If 
3.36. So for the first trial, the percentage error was 3.36. So he is well within the limit, plus or minus 5 percentage. So if that is the case, uh, you can call yourself as a good rating engineer. So we will calculate the similarly on the same way you can uh, calculate the second trial also. 12.7. Yeah, 12.7. So here the error is 12.7. So uh, that means he is not consistent in the rating. First trial he accurately made, but for the second trial it is the error is more than 10 percentage. So you are supposed to achieve the consistency in a rating and activity. Okay. So uh, this reading so you can show. Mm -hmm. So in the manual it is given. Uh, the tablet column and all everything is given and the uh, 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 the readings you can note down like this you can calculate and you are supposed to do the many trials many trials till you achieve the consistency in rating 